Saturday morning, everybody. Just bear with the static here. I'm adjusting the mic. I think I got, nope. <laughs> you know, this is really hard to do on the move. All right, we'll just put it on the seat belt. Just uh, bear with any static you hear. I think everything's alive and well, yep, yep. All right, I got two blue lights and I got to record. So we're live. Well, not technically. Um, so, I just want to give y'all a real quick rundown before we head into the tour video. <clears throat> so this week was a busy week. I uh, did 3117 on the truck. By the time I got to my last uh, pickup yesterday in uh, Georgetown, South Carolina, uh, mileage wise, I mean, shoot, um, I'll just go day by day real quick. Monday I did 638, Tuesday I did 538, Wednesday I did 550, Thursday I did 499, and yesterday I did, I think it was like 468 or something like that, or 488, that's four something. Uh, and today is gonna be a short, you know, 400 miler. Uh, basically I'm just heading home. Taking a load down to Niceville, Florida. I'm pretty sure I've been to this customer before, uh, about two or three weeks ago. Um, it's not one of my favorite areas to go to. It's kind of sketchy when you first pull in, if it's the one I'm thinking it is. But leaving's not really that bad. But a PSA, for every trucker out there, or on behalf of every trucker out there, if you're driving a car and you're getting on the interstate, Use that thing called an entrance ramp to get up to speed. Don't get on a 65 zone and a 45. So you're just asking to get your ass plowed. Especially when you think you own the road and you just come over anyway. Rant over. Um, I've come to realize I really hate the way people drive. I put up with it, but I really, really hate it. But anyhow, I got several hours remaining. I'll be home before the sun rises, thankfully, hopefully. That's the plan. I ain't decided if I'm gonna top off yet or not. Depends on what I'm, where I'm at when I get to get ready to get off the interstate for the last time this weekend. And um, yeah, hopefully y'all enjoy the new, uh, the truck tour part two, I guess you could call it. And then when I get another truck, it'll be part three, so on and so forth. So hopefully y'all enjoy it. And if you like what you see, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you after the tour. What's up guys? It is time for the tour. It's gonna be a quicker tour. I mean, you've all seen my equipment. You've all seen the corner protectors, the bungees, the chain chains, the chain binders, uh, V boards. I got a ladder on the back of this truck. Um, 
APUs on a different side. You've seen my tools on the inside. So basically just going to give you, let you see the new truck, let you see what the, the hood view you'll get to see going down the road. Uh, apologize for sounding low under the weather. I kind of am. I was uh, in the bed all day yesterday, feverish and stuff. I don't know if it's COVID. I don't think it's COVID because it's, it's too short lived symptoms to really be COVID, but kind of playing it safe. Uh, anyhow, let's go ahead and get this uh, tour underway and I'll talk as we go and be done in a jiffy. So as you can see, the um, standard old thing, I ain't got a sticker on it, it's a high top. And uh, I enjoy it, see, T680, right there. And worse, yeah, yeah, it's dirty. It's uh, that's 30, probably about 3,500 miles worth of driving under it. I love it, it's an automatic, it's awesome in traffic. I just want to upgrade the headlights a little bit more so I can see better at night. Two CB antennas, okay. So these things right here are cameras that point out to the side. So whenever I trigger an event, you can see down the sides of the trailer as well. Um, but multifunctional. Uh, turn signal marker lamp. Alcoas, I've got Alcoas on this truck. There's the ladder I was talking about. Uh, LEDs. This truck pretty much has LEDs everywhere. LED turn signal marker. Except for the headlights and stuff. Down that's LEDs. Uh, engine there. Yes, I have broken the hood latch. I've got to get one ordered by the shop or just pay for it myself. And then put it on fire extinguisher two pedals oh yeah you can see they use the standard uh back plate though because there's a clutch mount and oh look there's a spot for a clutch too cubby there's your gauges and stuff so y'all can see that <clears throat> 171,307 miles on the dot more gauges, I got Bluetooth, you know, everything's conveniently located, my panic button for my cameras, suspension dump, diff lock, my um, people net, lights, GPS, I already downloaded it. I got all my pins and stuff up here on the sun visor, I've got the screens here and the screens back there, storage up here. Here, here, my Uniden, here's some storage, here's some storage, my microwave. See, switch on, lights on, ignore the mess you're about to see. So storage, a uh, bunch of work stuff, clothes and other random stuff. For a microwave, I got a fridge, yes, it's the same one out of my international. I'm a get one designed for this truck because there's two storage cubbies back here that I would like to utilize. But I can't as long as this is in here. But this is just too convenient right now. The mic, this refrigerator I'm gonna get is gonna go in there, but it's like 800 bucks. And it's kind of steep. I got a little closet space. I got more storage up here. You know, my backing, APU controls, uh, sleeper berth, temperature controls, and then stuff um, for the uh, radio and stuff. Door locks, sleeper berth lights. I think in here, yeah, I got socks and stuff there, you know, different medicines. I got Tylenol and ibuprofen in here, um, mouthwash, extra head, uh, um, hair soap, does that make sense? Uh, shampoo, there we go, shampoo, um, and then I got some other stuff up here, I got like Dawn and know what this is oh ketchup yeah I got ketchup and salt and pepper in there truck cleaning supplies I got a notepad here and stuff I got a mirror I didn't even realize that till just now I do keep my dirty clothes in here my water boots where the fridge goes but I got a drawer here that pulls out I got bowls and baggies um, got some stuff in here not a whole lot I still got to get this truck set up for me but um 
yeah that's i mean that's pretty much the tour of this truck like i said it's gonna be a quick one y'all have already seen everything as far as work stuff goes i can show you all the um the uh oh, what do you call it uh storage area under it yeah i'm burning over there even though i'm not really feeling that great it is what it is though <clears throat> i mean you're not gonna see much over here i got rain gear and stuff rain gear and poly and extra oil and stuff on this side but see the poly takes up quite a bit that cool and I'm afraid hard to believe I had this thing washed last week doesn't even look like it that tells you I've been doing a lot of driving probably too much to be considered healthy to be honest with you seeing and here's the other side here's my windshield uh, it's water and dawn mixture I sprayed on there before I fill up and uh, it helps makes it really easy to take care of the bugs extra headlight bulbs that's the ones that were in this truck i put the uh the zxc golds in here i'm not really impressed with them so if you're looking at buying new headlight bulbs don't go with the zxc golds they're really not that great w40 i got all my extra straps in here. this one here needs to go to the trash that's a bad one gloves i got like two or three corners in here now i got two breaker bars now uh You can see the extra coolant back there. I got my extra tools and stuff back there. Hub wool from the loaner truck I had. I'm just going to keep it just in case I need it. You can hear my German Shepherd whining in the background. He wants some love. But, um, yeah, that's the, uh, that's the new whip. I got to get some, got to get some more mounts mount videos hold on i got i gotta let y'all see this come here cooge come here bud good boy i don't know how much of that y'all can see but he's a good boy it'd be what's this year 2020 so he'll be six this year yeah He'd be six years old this year. He good boy. Ain't that right, cool Joe? He good boy. Yeah. He talks to me. Diesel does too. He's over there licking himself right now though. Um. And then, as y'all know, we run the Humane Society. So yeah, we got some cats over here. But there's the trail. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start wrapping this up. Uh, so yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed the truck tour. Hopefully y'all, um, like it as much as I do. It's nice having a nice truck. It's 2019, probably manufactured in 18. And my beautiful fiance is driving down the road right now. She's probably going to be like, what in the world are you doing? You're sick. You're supposed to be in the bed laying down. Nah. If you like what you've seen, don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. <laughs> she started laughing at me. And uh, we'll see you next week. Going to start getting back to some normal content. See you soon.